You want me to move to the next one? Yeah, sure. Um, you might want to start the timer as well. The problem we're trying to address is that trying to run the entire Sonic Management test run can take a very long time depending upon your SKU and topology, ranging from you know 12 hours on the short side to nearly 72 on some of the larger uh, modular dots. Many SKUs are intended to be compatible with multiple topologies. For example, our 720DT uh, devices on M0 and MX topologies, our 7260CX3 is used on T0, T1, and T1 lag topologies. All the tests in Sonic Management, some are actually topology independent, some are SKU independent, some are SKU specific. The system doesn't really have its own nice way of parallelizing and aggregating the results of these runs. So you're somewhat limited to running the entire suite all in one shot. Slide, please. So what we're trying to do is take the input Sonic test and divide them up into, into pieces that can be run in parallel so you don't have to wait for a large serial run. You can divide it up into smaller pieces. Tell it a skew, tell it a topology, and it'll go and combine a collection of results together and give you one cohesive answer that you can then provide to, say, a customer who's asking for these sorts of results. It can also even look at though that collection of results and come back and say, well, here are the set of tests that should have been run but don't exist in your test results, highlighting potentially holes in where the tests aren't covering. This enables parallelization and a more efficient use of your test infrastructure. Even in our first try of just running our two 720 um, runs, M0MX, it would cut out four hours in a 19-hour test run, which represents about a 20% shortening. Um, if you go for a strictly sequential run, that goes up to 30% because there's a lot of any tests that we can reuse for both runs. There is still more room for improvement, and we'll chat about that later. Slide, please. And this runs in two steps. The first piece is a test library scanner that run that takes a look at the PyTest collection to go and bring out, to extract a JSON document that says, here's this test file. It applies to these topologies. This gets used later when we use combine results together so we can figure out which results can we actually call it scavenge from individual test results, which ones are nailed down to only one dot. Uh, slide, please. Uh, second stage is grabbing the log directories from your Sonic Management runs, providing it to the consolidates, consolidation script, along with that previous mentioned JSON file and which topology you want, and it'll come out and emit a co cohesive single run that would look like what a, what a uh, serial run would look like. Comes out to a new compressed tar file, which you can then use whatever other tools you may already have for processing your test runs to analyze your pass rates and where we are easy me to pay attention to. It also contains that extra text file of there are these tests that didn't run in any of the ones you provided me. Slide, please. So as a more specific example, a complete run on the 720DT 48S took 19 hours for a single run on the MX topology, 24 and a half on the M0 topology. If these two could be running in parallel or possibly serially, depending on how much hardware you have. Looking at these test runs, splitting those into, say, take one run, which is only running the any tests, and then on that second dot, if you already had to, could run the M0 stuff specifically and the MX stuff exclusively. And if you know and tie those two times together, now your 19 hour run on the MX drops to 15 hours because it's bounded by the any tests. Of course, if you want to get even more energetic and if you have more dots, you could even divide the any tests in half and continue. And as you throw more hardware at it, you can get shorter and shorter total run times, yet still get effective test result outputs. Slide, please. So applying the same technique, mentioned about the four hours the MX run, saves up to eight hours in the M0 run. Further savings can even be realized if one considers the number of tests are not even SKU dependent. So I could possibly take some of those 720DT results and apply it to a 7260CX3 dot topology so that I don't have to keep rerun, basically I don't have to keep rerunning those any tests everywhere, at least not necessarily. So I could save on larger uh, test sequences like for us, for the vendors where we have multiple dots we need to test against, this could be useful. Slide please. As I had mentioned, and I'm shortly running a time, it mentions the which tests are missing. In my particular example, some of those tests we actually expected because we were specifically excluding them ourselves. 
but it's nice to show that it highlights, hey, you've missed this test. Slide, please. Um, things to improve in future work. Right now it works on the test file level. We can take it down to test cases. Um, some of the, it can actually identify entire test files that get skipped on your platform, so it doesn't have to run them at all. What do we do with stitching the tests? And we could get better or more refined test classification. Uh, could make this more effective if you identify tests that running on one SKU applies to everybody, or does this test run on every SKU because every SKU has a different answer? Slide, please. And that's the summary. Thank you. Thank you, Andra. Uh, anyone has any questions uh, from judges? Questions to Andre? All right. Uh, I think it's so actually, I think it's a, actually a, a very good idea. So um, I, I wonder um, the stitching. I mean, if we have multiple test bed, uh available, have have you considered stitching the test bed to optimize further? What do you mean by stitching the test bed? Um, meaning, you know, um, can we can we have the test? I mean, because here we're considering single test bed, right? As resources a pool. As in a test bed, you're talking about a single dot plus a test server. That's right. Uh, the intent actually is, and we do in-house ourselves, is that we have a number of dots and test bed test servers that we hook up together on our own in internal test infrastructure. And yeah, you pull the results from multiple test beds and tie them together. Okay. I mean, now the real problem comes, are you yeah. running on a consistent sonic image so that the results are can be intelligently bond bonded together? But that information is in the test results, so we can actually verify that you are giving it a uh, consistent set of tested sonic images. All right. The scheme just provides yeah, the framework for doing all these kinds of things. That's the bottom line, right? Yeah, you you have more flexibility when you apply the scheme. You can either serialize and save runs, or you can parallelize and you know speed up. All of those options are possible. Hey, um, a Kartik question: Are you guys uh, upstreaming any of these changes to the uh, basic test uh, strategy in Community Sonic? Uh, that is a that is a proposed step. Yeah, we okay. this is this is pretty new. We just prototyped this, so yeah, expect more uh, conversation on this topic. All right, thanks. A question: How is the classification done exactly? You know, deciding which test you know is common, which is not. Uh... Right now, it's actually being done based upon the uh, test mark conditional that's put into all your test files. Right, the test file says I'm applicable to any, I'm applicable to T0, I'm applicable to T1. Um, so right now it's at the test file level of this file and thus all the tests in it are good for any topology and thus would be a candidate to put into a common run versus some of the ones that are only applicable to say M0, in which case you want to probably pull those out to their own uh, test run so you can parallelize the two. Okay, the... so 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 it's 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 not like automatic. It's more like what the, you know we we decided. You know, someone uh, went over the test, decides what to to which it's it's applicable. There's no like uh, you know any any you know further logic to 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 assume or to generate that info. I guess. I think these are the first steps going towards being able to do something along those lines. Right now, it's we're doing it as more of a post mortem analysis, where in future, and with that first, that first stage of that scanner, we could hypothetically say, you know, run tests. Here's the scanner. Please give me the M0 only tests. Run those. Uh, please give me the any tests only. Run those. Um, so I think that's something that could be worked into run tests.py directly. Thanks. All right. Any other questions from the judges? Thank you, Arista Networks. Let's move on to the next 